Hillary worked fanatically to return 10 Russian spies operating in U.S. in midst of selling 20% of U.S. uranium to Russia. After the FBI arrested 10 of the spies in June 2010, Secretary of State Clinton worked feverishly to return the Russian agents to Moscow in a hastily arranged, lopsided deal with Putin. It all happened as the uranium deal was in play, an arrangement to provide Moscow's state Rosatom nuclear agency with 20% of American uranium capacity, with $145 million to pour into the Clinton Family Foundation and its projects. For the Clintons, the FBI's biggest counterintelligence bust in history couldn't have come at a worse time. The day the FBI arrested the Russian agents, on June 28, 2010, the day before the Secretary of State's husband, Bill Clinton, was to give a speech in Moscow. A Kremlin-connected investment bank, Renaissance Capital, paid the former president $500,000 for the hour-long appearance. An unnamed Hillary Clinton spokesman told ABC News that there was no reason to think the secretary was a target of this spying. That was a lie. Under the code name Operation Ghost Stories, the FBI had been working the ring for a decade. Its targets had burrowed in along the Aslak corridor between Boston, New York, and Washington, D.C. They lived normal daily lives as Americans to attend universities, run businesses, marry and conceive and raise children to infiltrate society and subvert government institutions. One of the SVR agents had stolen the identity of a six-week-old Canadian baby who had died in 1963. That prompted the Ghost Stories code name. The ring inspired the FX Network's television series, The Americans. As with any Secretary of State, Hillary Clinton would be a primary target under any circumstance. But she was much more. She was a known quantity, predictable, vain and ruthless, and with an insatiable desire for cash to enrich her family, friends, and political machine. Blindly ambitious to become president of the world's only superpower and swearing to come back after losing in 2008 to Barack Obama, she was the 21st century KGB's perfect mark, perfect mark.